in prime time news this evening on the run manhunt still on for health worker who raped a child up in smoke a prime time news in focus report on the frequent destructive fires in saint elizabeth and the un promises fund to help countries impacted by climate change Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. We're live on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janela Precious with a preview of what's to come in business news. Here's Andrea Chisholm. Well, Janela, this evening we have the latest inflation figures. And guess what? It's the lowest in almost two years. That and more in the business day. All right, thanks, Andrea. From Andrea, we go to Jordan. He'll give us a preview of what's to come in Primetime Sports. Jordan? Well, Herman, as you know, the West Indies have two new permanent coaches, one for the white ball teams and one for the red ball team. But guess what? The white ball team coaches had, white ball team coach had no input into the recent selection of the white ball teams. I'll tell you more in Primetime Sports Monday. All I can say is, huh? Red, <laughs> white, blue? I don't know. Romaine is also here with a preview of what's to come in the weather report and forecast. Thank you, Janela. Now, we did have the first tropical wave of the season being recorded across the open waters of the, Afri of the Atlantic this afternoon, so I'll tell you more about that. But we're still expecting isolated afternoon thunderstorm activity as we move through much of this week. There's also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast, but before the break, the feedback question. Our question this evening. How can CARICOM assist with bringing stability back to Haiti? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at TVJ News Center. Please stay tuned. Primetime News returns after this break. <laughs> 